love what you're saying because so many people have a love-hate relationship with food. So, oh, I love that food, but I can't because it's yeah. bad for me. I hate it. And when you say the joy of, of eating, the love of food, being with your family and cooking, all those things are things I think is great for the whole structure of the American family. Yes. So have you seen that within your own family? Definitely. I mean, cooking, since Misha was diagnosed, cooking has become kind of a family activity where we go to the farmer's market together and the children want to try different vegetables that they've never seen before. And I just let them go and choose what they want. And if I can afford it, I'll buy it for them and then we can experiment with it. And so it's become a curiosity for them and a, in some ways, I think, a bit of a hobby for all of us. So what kind of things do you cook at home with your children? Because I know you're working, you're working, you've got three kids. Yeah. I mean, it's a busy life. How do you come home? How long does it take you? How much time do you put aside to cook? So I cook very quickly. Right. And for example, I'll make a pasta and I'll have the water boiling in the kettle so that I can pour it into the pot and the pasta can go in and that's ready in 10 minutes while I make a little tomato sauce on the side with a bit of cheese sprinkled on top. Most parents don't know that a simple meal like that with pasta, a bit of tomato sauce and some cheese and maybe a fresh fruit on the side, that kind of meal is so much better than anything you could buy at a fast food restaurant. And in some ways, in many ways, it actually can be done more economically as well because you're not paying for all of the fancy packaging associated with the convenience foods. So we make a lot of Italian food, we eat a lot of fish, where we'll buy a fillet of fish and just put some herbs and a little bit of salt and pepper on the top and grill it. And it's always got to be flavorful. I believe that we should use a bit of real butter and a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar in your home baked goods is fine if you do it with kind of the principles of moderation underlying everything that you eat. So Maya, your kids help you in the kitchen and that's part of your ritual, your family bonding. Tell me how they help you in the kitchen and what is their favorite thing to cook? Okay, so mostly it's my child with celiac who loves being in the kitchen because I think it, it empowers him. He feels like if I know how to make the perfect crepe, then I'll never kind of want for a crepe because I can't have it because of my food allergies. Mm -hmm. So he's the guy who can already at the age of seven flip crepes and make pancakes and he just gets out a bowl and starts mixing eggs. I don't believe in recipes, and I know that sounds crazy, but I think that once you get a few certain basic skills and principles under your belt, you can really throw things in. It's creative. And it's creative, yeah. and it won't be perfect every time, but it'll be good and it'll be real. So I allow the children to just put some eggs together and mix it up and try and experiment with good ingredients and see what comes out. How do you make pancakes if you have celiac disease? That's, I'm interested you, in that. You can use rice flour and there are really? a lot of flour substitutes that are pretty good. And you just have to add a little bit of fruit like mashed banana or blended pear to give it some elasticity and a little bit more egg. Those are the tricks. Do you have making. any recipes on your site for those kind of things? I do, I do. But mostly I have kind of principle based cooking because I feel like that's an easier way to cook. Because you said you don't really have recipes but you have so you do you have any videos showing those I kind do. of things? I do. We've made so you videos. just throw it all in? I do but we have also some recipes where we've measured things out for people who feel more comfortable cooking that way. I think you're actually making people feel at home here because I mean I know I'm intimidated because I don't feel like I'm a good cook and I'm like that, I just like to throw things in. Yeah, yeah. But it never usually tastes good. Oh. Now no one will eat what I cook, but <laughs> I'm just saying it actually gives you the freedom to try. Yeah. Because so, so often if there's strict guidelines, it's much harder. So your son, the three-year-old, who's now probably older, but he comes in yeah. and cooks a lot. What do, does your husband come in? Do you all cook together often? My husband's on cleanup duty. He is the one who comes in afterwards and puts things in the dishwasher. Um, the other boys also love cooking. The little one who's four, I give him a plastic knife and some mushrooms or some avocado and he's allowed to chop with us. Aww. The older one was given a chef's knife by one of my students <laughs> and I, I hid it away in a closet because it's too sharp. But I do let them play around with peelers and right. with knives that aren't too sharp because I think it's almost more dangerous not to teach a child to cook 
in this yeah. eating environment, then the risk of them accidentally cutting their finger, and that's how we learn, right? So I think for older children with supervision from say nine years old and up, you can really let them start to try and chop some vegetables and see what it feels like.